Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as I had said last year, um, on behalf of the members of the Avalon String Band, we want to thank everyone for coming out here once again to honor Jeannie's memory. Um, I had said to Donna earlier today, I'm fortunate enough to have known the Coppin family for many, many years. Um, but it's, it's truly been eye-opening to me to see the friendships and the relationships that have formed between the members of the Avalon String Band and the Avalon String Band as a whole and the Coppin family. Um, they are truly, and I'm not telling you anything you don't know, they are truly good people who have big hearts. Um, so it's a testament to all of them that you are here to celebrate Jeannie's memory. Um, members of Avalon have been talking about, thank you. The members of Avalon have been talking for several months as to the best way to commemorate our friendship and our relationship with Albert and the entire family. And um, this is kind of like the last basket that we had talked about, but it's kind of a um, dedicated winner. I'm going to read the plaque here. It says, the Avalon String Band honors the memory of Jeannie Coffin. On behalf of the executive committee and the entire membership of the Avalon String Band, this 14th day of April 2012, we proudly dedicate our club facility to be known as Coffin Memorial Hall. Her love for Avalon will always be remembered. But for the Coffin family to be displayed. So that's for Abbott. And then this plaque will be displayed in our club, Coppin Memorial Hall, dedicated to the memory of Jeannie Coppin, whose love for the Avalon String Band will always be remembered. So once again, from our family to yours, we cannot thank you enough. So, once again, we appreciate the support of everyone being here. Sit back, relax, drink up, have a good time. We're going to be playing in a little bit. We want everyone to come up, but uh, we're going to continue on, but thank you for the minutes. Thank you, gentlemen. tougher for me than the first year. I don't know if I was uh, in shock or disbelief the first year, but this second year um, is definitely rougher. We went through uh, we went through a lot, you know, some good, some bad. Um, my mom was uh, the boss, but uh, I knew she loved us, and uh, her love for her grandchildren was the number one thing that I can remember about my mom. Like, she just 
Loved her grandkids. Um, she missed uh, meeting her sixth grandchild, my Molly, by only 27 days. Um, that uh, upsets me a lot. And uh, the one thing that really stuck in my head from when my mom was sick, um, in the hospital, she said she would give anything to have one more stroll down the boardwalk with all of her grandkids. So last year, we did a special song for my mom. We did I Love Lucy. Uh, this year, we're going to take my mom in spirit to the boardwalk with us.
looking over a four-leaf clover that I overlooked before. One leaf is sunshine, the second is rain. Third is the roses that bloom in the lane. No need explaining, no one remains. 